minute. That's our CCW World Heavyweight Champion, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Why is he interrupting Larry Legend? Khalif Bryan here, uh, joined momentarily by Emil J. Uh, Emil, what the hell? Why is MJF interrupting Larry Legend? Hi. Check it out, he's actually here. And it's a champion. You've got a big point right there. Big facts. Next up, Jacob Friedman. I'm happy it's Larry in there, not me. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> it does add it. It took you long enough. Oh, making the move to David Starr. Wait a minute, speak of the man himself. Here, here comes the winner of the 2018 Best of the Best Tournament. That's David Starr. Oh, yeah. David Starr, he wants that CZW World Heavyweight Championship. He's had his eye on that prize for quite some time. Takedown. David Starr just patted away at the face. MJF. Starr clearing house. That's absurd. That's absurd. Hey, come on, we're out of here. We're out of here. Well, David Starr, he, he doesn't want to wait for, for later on tonight. And MJF is in trouble. Well, yeah, that's Mans Warner and Ricky Shane Pace. Those two will face off tonight in the finals of the opportunity for an opportunity tournament. David oh. Starr, big suicide dive. And wait a second, here comes uh, Nick Papa Giorgio coming out to. Wait, are we going to get this thing now? Oh. So this is it. This is for the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. David Starr and Maxwell Jacob Friedman to open the event here. It's, this is unbelievable. Freeman, Freeman wisely rolling to the outside, asking for a timeout going after that right arm. Yeah, now, David oh. Starr, though, he's not going to let that deter him. He hits that right arm clothesline. And it looks like David Starr, he's poised. He's getting ready to fly again. But, but MJF... He's on the oh, other, other side, side of the guardrail. Oh my gosh! And Into the crowd goes David Starr. They went about three or four rows deep here at the Coliseum. David Starr completely wiping everything out. David Starr is sending a message to the CZW World Heavyweight Champ. And that message is, I'm taking that title with me. Jeez. Pitches him right into the ring, over the guardrail. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, David Starr, he's focused. He's been training for this specific matchup for quite some time. And also, he's been in the ring with MJF before. He knows his game. David Starr is coming in here with a game plan, and that game plan is to take that CCW World Heavyweight Championship. Right have it here. Two. had a new world heavyweight champion splash across the back of MJF and David Starr. Starr holding that right knee. Yeah. Oh. Backbreaker followed up by a recover one, two. Yeah. Grabs a hold to this face lock here of sorts. He doesn't have the arm trap. He's just pulling back on the head and neck. Now on the chin, putting a lot of pressure on MJF here. Now cranking the neck. And now he's got it. 
Got a little bit more leverage. You see MJF reaching for that bottom rope. Oh, look at the wherewithal of David Starr. That is high ring IQ. He may tap. He may tap right here, right now. We may have a new CZW World Heavyweight Champion. I don't think he's going to be able to tap. All of his limbs are compromised here. He's going to have to say uncle. He's going to have to give it up. Look at David Starr. Oh, he couldn't wrap him up. He couldn't get that leg. I mean, I'll tell you what. They were all sorts of twisted up there. Yeah. I'm talking about a high ring IQ. You saw, you saw how David Starr was able to modify that hold numerous amounts of time to, to, to keep that hold locked on. That was great wrestling out of David Starr. Absolutely, and that's what it means. He wants to be more than anything. CZW will have to wait him on. See, and this is the difference we're seeing. We're seeing great technique out of David Starr, and then we're seeing these cowardly acts out of MJF. Thumb to the eye of David Starr, putting MJF in a position to get Starr down. Starr reaching for that bottom rope. Now he's look, looking to inch him towards it. Oh, look at that. MJF. MJF making sure that Starr can't reach that rope. I'll tell you what, MJF, very high ring IQ as well. Here we see him pulling back on that leg. I'll tell you what, this is great stuff out of both guys. It's just... You know, I hate the shortcuts that MJF takes to get to these places because he's a very competent professional wrestler. He just takes the low road and takes shortcuts all the time. I don't like it. What I do like, though, is that he held on for the very last very last second of that five count to make sure that he got every little bit of damage in on Star. I mean, it's underhanded, but it's wise, especially in a title confrontation uh, against somebody like David Star. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. He stopped right on that wrist. Right on the forearm again of David Starr. They have to standing on the hand. And oh! Now both hands of David Starr have been stomped upon. It's going to be hard for him to get a hold of anything. It's going to be hard for him to make a fist. It's going to be hard for him to concentrate. It's going to be really hard for David Starr now to get back in the driver's seat. And Freeman knows that. He knows, oh man, he knows that that helps to preserve his time as CGW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, don't throw the chopstick. There you go. Footwork. Elbow. Head, headbutt. That'll get it done too. Oh. Forearm to the face. Big boot. Oh, cartwheel out of the way. Anything with his hands compromised the way they are. His fingers are they've got to be screaming in pain with all the tendons and the muscles in his hands. You can see he's trying to work the feeling back into him, but it's so tough. You bring up a good point. I mean, it's the fruits of MJF's labor right now. David Starr is attacking MJF because he's trying to get himself right. MJF delivers a back Whoa. elbow, a moonsault, nobody home. Yeah, missing. Oh, the athleticism of the champ. You can see the back of MJF uh, affecting him, though. Oh, oh into man. a stuffed pile oh, driver. That's it. One, two, three. Oh. David Starr kicks out at the very, very last second. I'll tell you something, Leif. I was getting ready to ring that bell. That looked like it to me. I mean, anytime somebody gets stuffed with a pile driver like that, you got to got to think it's over, but David Starr, that's how much he wants the most coveted prize here in the combat zone. That World Heavyweight Championship Mark! belt, he wants that. He wants to add that to his list of accolades, nicknames, monikers that he has, quite frankly, earned. Absolutely. Oh, we think. And then the belt over to MJF. He's going to try to get himself disqualified. His champion's advantage. He knows if he gets disqualified, he retains automatically. This is just stuff you believe. Come on now. Would you expect any less? Got a good point. Like, 
professional wrestler. I hate that he has to stoop to these levels. You're right. We've seen it here tonight. MJF going for it. It's they could start with the title belt. I left didn't see it. Mance Warner now taking care of Smart Mark. Mance Warner. Warner's out. He's taking the CZW championship from MJF. This could be shades of the future oh, here. Cover. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Come on. Here comes Ricky Shane Page. He ran right past Papa Giorgio and Mance Warner. He grabbed the championship now. Walking around ringside. Meanwhile, in, in, in the ring, MJF has a hold of David Starr. Ooh. Ricky Shane Page. Oh, no. Again, the belt to the crazy of David Starr. Huge miscalculation from Ricky Shane Page. It's David Starr. Oh, come on. Not like this. Yeah, come on. No. One, two, three. MJF has retained his CZW championship over David Starr. Yeah, you know what? I agree with the, with the fans here in attendance. Every dog has his day. This just wasn't the night for David Starr here tonight. This wasn't the night for David Starr. I mean, how many things had to go wrong for him down the finishing stretch? You had Smart Mark Sterling getting involved, Vance Warner coming out here, RSB coming out here. I mean, they weren't all necessarily coming out here to screw with David Starr, but a lot of things happened. And David Starr wound up getting hit in the head twice with that CZW World Championship belt that MJF is holding in his left hand. And that's what led to his demise. And now we get to hear from our champion. 